Hi everyone, I am Kanika Kucheria from Tech Canvas. Today we will talk on the topic Artificial Intelligence in Test Automation. Software testing has evolved a lot in decades. Earlier there was only manual testing where each and every step was written and executed manually. This was quite a time consuming task. To the rescue came automation testing. Different paid and open source tools came into the market. They help us to automate the test cases and execute them and generate the reports. Now a third wave has struck in the world of software testing with the advent of artificial intelligence. So if we talk of evolution of software testing in detail so the first step would be manual testing the second step was use of some automation tools like selenium catalon studio qtp etc then we evolved our automation scripts by making use of complex framework like test ng with agile coming into the picture continuous integration and delivery was there so we integrated our software test suite with CI and CD tools. Now a new dimension has been added in software testing by artificial intelligence. Let's understand what is AI and the terms around it. AI stands for artificial intelligence. AI is adding human intelligence to a machine. The best example to understand AI is Amazon Echo where we ask a question in form of voice it understands the voice message converts them into machine language and finally delivers the output in voice so a lot of ai is involved in whole in the whole process in ai there are a lot of other complex jargons and methodologies involved ml is a subset of ai learning is like giving machine ability to learn by itself An example of ml is if you search for something on google and spend some time on specific links with the help of ml google will understand the user specific needs and accordingly show those links or ads to that user DL or deep learning is again a subset of ML. DL or deep learning involves advanced algorithms which read a lot of data, identify the pattern and provide the solution. The example of DL is like adding color to a black and white picture, use of chatbots. As we have a brief background of AI and ML, Let's talk specifically in terms of test automation. We had complex test frameworks, a lot many tools for test automation. We now have large number of test suites which have around thousands of test cases. But then where are we still lagging? Point number one, we still don't know what particular test pack is ideal enough it has a big impact on the test scripts they start failing and would require an immediate change our test scripts are not intelligent enough to see if the pages are loaded fully or not we need to apply wait or sleeps for them also many of the test scripts are interdependent so all these scenarios prove that we need something extra to make our test automation more stable. So how AI will solve such problems that we just quoted? One major contribution is to identify the minimum number of tests one should execute to verify a particular code change. AI is cap capable enough to give a fingerprint of test results and give good insights with help of system and debug logs. This information will be really very helpful for the developers to focus on a particular area. 
we talked about automation scripts to be brittle. With the help of AI automation tools, we will be still able to identify and locate the correct web element without breaking the execution if any of the web elements are being changed. So we will have, will have more stable test scripts regardless of the HTML structure. AI can understand the page load behavior. AI tools can come out with automation scripts by reading the mockups. So in this way, the dev and the test teams can work in parallel. And finally, the development is complete, the testing can be done and verified. Now let's see some scenarios where AI can be really useful in test automation. The first example is the visual validation. We want to make sure that the UI looks appropriate with right color, shape and position. AI based tools can help us in doing this visual validation automatically. The second scenario is spidering AI. In, by spidering AI, we mean that we just point the AI tools to our web application. It then starts crawling your whole application, collects data, takes the screenshot. And so when the tool runs, it will compare the current state to the known patterns. For any deviation, maybe a visual difference, or the page load behavior, all this will be highlighted by the AI tool. The other scenario where AI tools can be really helpful is uh, verifying the different types of content like text, video, audio, graphics, images, etc. Other scenario where AI is useful is that they help in making more reliable test cases which are not brittle. They do not break by just a change of field or a ID. The other scenarios is like API testing, where AI based tools can record and then mock the server response. Hence, it makes AI testing quite fast. It will transform the QA by test suite optimization, impact analysis, and traceability. So now let's have a look on the third wave automation tools that are ready to revolutionize the software testing. The first in the list is Apply Tools. Apply Tools provide AI powered visual testing. The next is Mabel. It makes use of ML for automation testing. It is easy to set up, auto healing test scripts, provide ML driven regression pack. The other in the list is Testium. This tool leverages the machine language to speed up the execution and maintenance of the test cases. It focuses in removing the test flakiness that we have discussed earlier. The others in the list are tools like retest, test.ai, functionize, and a lot. So let's conclude by talking about the advantages of making use of AI in test automation. It helps in improving the accuracy, it increases our test coverage, saves a lot of time and hence money. It makes our test scripts quite stable, give quite a good insights of the test results by giving a good correlation between the logs, system logs, etc. And thus it is really helpful and we can truly say that AI is the third wave in software automation testing. So this was all about the topic today. Keep tuned for more videos on Tech Canvas. Thank you.